friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome. So friends, I have two easy, fun St. Patrick's Day appetizers for you. Um, I thought I'd bring you along. I love celebrating every and any holiday. I think I have a little bit of Irish in me, but I honestly am not 100% sure. But y'all know I love holidays and I love celebrating it. If you haven't already checked out my St. Patrick's Day tear tray video, I'll link it below so you can check that out. I did a decorate with me. But for today, we are going to be making two appetizers. We're going to make a fruit rainbow platter. And we're going to have a little pot of gold at the end. And then we're going to make a veggie um, Irish flag. So friends, I thought I would bring you along. Like I said, these are great for St. Patrick's Day parties. Um, this is great just to have fun with your kids. The kids can actually help put this together. And as I've mentioned in the past, when kids help cook, they tend to eat what they make. If you made it, put it in front of them, a lot of times they're like, no, no, no. But if you make something like this, they're more likely to eat it if they help you. So let's go ahead and we'll get started with the ingredients that we're going to need for the um, uh, fruit <laughs> rainbow. And then we'll come back and we'll work on the uh, veggie tray. So let's quickly go over the ingredients. So we're going to start with some strawberries. I already went ahead and prepped this because it takes a little while. I took a pound and a half of strawberries and cut them up. And then I peeled um, five mandarin oranges. And then I have a um, pineapple that I, it was a fresh pineapple. I went ahead and cut that up, but you can buy the chunks already. And then I'm playing the rainbow song in my head as I'm picking these up. Red, orange, yellow, green, <laughs> red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Don't forget, there's purple too. <laughs> this is what I'm doing right now. Green, we have some green grapes. I just grabbed a bag of them. I, I think it was like two pounds, but I do not have the whole two pounds there. I don't think I'm going to need it. And then I have some blueberries. I have a pint of blueberries. I bought two pints just in case. I don't think I'm going to need it, um, but at the end I'll let you know the exact numbers, um, but I figured my son would eat, eat those as well. And then don't forget, there's purple too, so I have some red grapes. And then I'm going to make some um, fruit dip, and I'll do that at the end of the video. And then I just have a package, and the Rolos are at the other side of the counter, a package of Rolos, and I just have like this little um, cauldron. I'm going to put some Rolos in it and then around it. Um, I wish I had a bigger one, but that's the end. I have a huge one and then that size. I wish I had like a medium one, but I don't. So we're going to make what I have work. And then I just have this round plastic tray. You can use any tray, honestly, to do the rainbow one there. Not a big deal. So let's go ahead and turn the camera down and we'll get started. All right, my friends. So I just have my tray here. So what I'm going to do, I am not doing the traditional you know, perfect rainbow with a cloud here and a cloud here. I'm going to take, I have this little container. I save these from the um, Chinese shop when we get soup. I'm going to put that there, but I like it has the lid. So when I'm actually going to be taking this to work. So when I transport it, um, it'll be easy to transport. So I'm putting this up a little bit higher than half. And then I'm going to take my little cauldron and I'm putting it down here. So what I want to do is, and I'll, let's see if I can turn it this way. So my rainbow is going to be, you know, like coming from the cloud and then down to the ground where the cauldron is. So the rainbow will be here. And I'll have my little fluff in here, or um, I guess it's not called fluff, what is it called? Uh, um, fruit dip will be in here that'll be white for the cloud and then we'll have our little rollos spilled out for the pot of gold so we're gonna start and I think I can do this backwards for y'all we're gonna start taking our strawberries and as I said I just have um, a pound and a half of strawberries and I slice those up into quarters and my hands are clean and I have everything washed so I'm just going Turn it around. I think you guys can see it a little bit better this way. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my strawberries right along the edge here. Just like that. 
and the one thing I should mention is when you're doing the outer part of the rainbow, you'll probably use a little bit more fruit because it is longer and as you get in you have less space to worry about. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in where needed. And then I just bought some cups and some spoons that I'm going to put out with this and they can just grab some and throw it right in the cup. Okay, this is looking nice. Can you guys already see that forming? I'm going to come down a little bit more. There we go. Since I have this here. This is perfect. This was about a pound and a half. I want this to be up higher. So I'm actually going to do this. I want this to be a little bit higher. So we're going to... Oh, that one on the floor. That's no good. Let me get that before the doggy does. Oh, no. It went under my stove. Really? Under my stove. Okay, so there we go. Scoot this up like that. There we go. Just like that. All right. I probably should have made the dip first and put it in there because that way it doesn't keep pushing it down. <laughs> All right, there we go. So let's sing the rainbow song, red, orange. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and move on and just add in some oranges or the little mandarin oranges. Like I said, I peeled five of these. It may be a little too much, we'll see. I do not want that going down there. I hope you guys can see this coming together. I don't think five might just be enough. I mean, four actually would even work. Now we have our red and orange, and let's sing our next song, red, orange, and yellow. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our yellow, which is our pineapple. Sliding this down further and further. Alright, I think that's good. Now my hands are all sticky. Okay, let me just rinse my hands real quick before we continue. Alright, my friends, red, orange, yellow, and what's next? Green. So I have myself some green grapes. So we're gonna go ahead and add the green grapes. I have a feeling after you watch this video, you're gonna be singing the rainbow song. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. And as I mentioned, friends, as you can see, this is in a colander. I did go ahead and rinse everything off already. I did that ahead of time just to save time so you're not watching me cut up or uh, clean fruit for an hour. And I just bought a bag of grapes and it was probably a pound and a half, two pounds. I'm really not 100% sure. Um, I did not use all of the grapes. Oh, 
Oops. There we go. Okay, can you see that? Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. We're now going to put our blueberries in there. Let's do some blueberries. There we go. blueberries and then don't forget there's purple too <laughs> so let's do I'm gonna add some more blueberries but I think what I'm gonna do is get this purp the purple grapes in here first and then add the rest of the blueberries okay Here. We don't want those there. There we go. Don't forget, there's purple too. Oh my goodness. I think that was the kids used to watch the Mickey Mouse Fun House or whatever, and they used to sing that all the time. Do you still sing those songs from when your kids were little? I do. Go. And then I'll just go back in and just fill it in a little bit more just to give it a little bit of dimension just like that. Makes it a little bit easier once you come back and fill in. And there we go, my friends. Look at that. How stinking adorable. Is that adorable or what? Now, let me go ahead and whip up our um, fruit dip, and then we'll go ahead and do our little pot of gold, and I'll show you how it all finally comes together. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started making our fruit dip. This is a very simple, easy recipe. Um, it, it takes no time whatsoever. I have a eight ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese. You can use any cream cheese, honestly. I've had it sitting out on the counter um, to soften while I cleaned and cut up the fruit. So that way it would be ready when the time came to make it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the bowl, just like that. And then I have some fluff. This this stuff I love. I put it on um, um, snowballs all the time. So I have seven ounces of the fluff. We're going to go ahead and put that in here as well. Put it out. I love this stuff. It's so good. All right, and then next we're just going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, let's put it on upside down. <laughs> that would have been funny. No, it wouldn't have. <laughs> All right, and friends, that is it. It is that simple. I'm going to go ahead and take my mixer and beat this together. this out and put it in my little bowl all right my friends so I just put this in the bowl I thought I was recording and I wasn't I just scooped it out and put it in the bowl thank goodness that wasn't something that you really had to see I looked up and boom it wasn't recording so I'm gonna go spoon and just make that look a little bit nicer just kind of wipe the edges a little bit 
All right, there we go. Just want to make it look a little more presentable. I could have definitely have doubled this recipe easily. My bowl is a little bit bigger than what I really wanted, to be honest with you. Might make some peaks in there to give it like cloud-like effects. <laughs> yeah, okay. Stop, Kelly. You're crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the roll lows after I wash my hands for the 20th time. And we're going to go ahead and put the roll lows in for our pot of gold. All right, my friends, so I just have a 10.6 ounce bag of roll lows. I'm going to put a few in here. Just going to have them spill out that pot of gold <laughs> just like that there we go how does that look friends is that adorable or what all right my friends so here we go just a quick overview. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Don't forget, there's purple too. We have our fluffy cloud there. And then we have our pot of gold that is spilling over with treasures for everyone. And there you have it, my friends. There is the fruit rainbow to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. But honestly, friends, this would be good for... Uh, a little girl's birthday party or anybody's birthday party to be honest with you spread kindness I mean when I look at a rainbow that's what I think it brings me happiness it brings me joy um, it, it just makes me feel you know just thinking about kindness be kind I mean this is the perfect uh, fruit tray to give to someone that may be ill or you just want to say thank you um, just a perfect gift for anyone perfect just to have and share with your family and friends so now we're going to go ahead and move on to making our veggie Irish flag. Friends, it cannot get any simpler than this. These are the items that we're going to use. Um, I have some broccoli. I have about two heads of broccoli washed and chopped up. And I just have like a paper towel in there to absorb any of the excess uh, water from washing it. I purchased a head of cauliflower. And again, just chopped up in chunks like that, washed. And then I bought a large bag, it's a two pound bag of, they call them baby carrots. They're pretty, pretty decent size though. They're not like those little mini ones. So we have that. Friends, that's the color of their flag, green, white, and orange. It could not get any easier than that, but I do want to add just one little touch to it. I want to put some like ranch veggie dip um, for this. So I just purchased, it's the uh, Marzetti's ranch dip. I really like this a lot. And I am going to actually transfer it into this container because I'm going to put it right in the middle of the cauliflower. Um, and I want to keep the white thing going so I didn't want all the color plus this container. I didn't want it. It's been handled way too many times and I didn't want that in the middle of my veggies. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to this clean container. And then we're going to go ahead and just put every, oh sorry, we're going to go ahead and put it together. I'm going to show you how simple and easy this is. So let's turn the camera down and get to it. All right, my friends, I do have this large white tray. Um, you can use any tray. You can cut out a piece of cardboard, whatever you would like. It can be smaller. Um, honestly, even a, a round tray would work. You could still work it on there. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my container in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Actually, I'm not going to fill this. I'm going to fill this at the end. That way I don't get little crumbs of the broccoli and stuff in there. So this is going to help me with determining my... So we're going to do green here, white in the middle, and then orange. So friends, it is this simple. Just go ahead and take... Can you see all those little crumbs from the broccoli? <laughs> so we're just going to take our broccoli. And I do have a little bit more just in case I need to cut it up. Because I bought two... Let me get that paper towel out. I bought two large heads and I wasn't sure how much I was going to need so I didn't want to cut and wash too much of it one time. 
but of course it all depends on your tray, obviously, the size of it, and I think this is just the perfect amount. That is perfect. Okay, now let me get all the little crumbs. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our broccoli, or broccoli, or cauliflower. Oops, put that right there like that. I may need to do some more broccoli, I'm not sure. Let's see, let me get that paper towel out of there. Let's go ahead and do this real quick and see how it comes together. Might be able to get away with not having to cut the broccoli out. Let's see. Let's use in this cauliflower here. Do you find it weird when you say cauliflower? I don't know why, but it's like one of those words that just sounds weird to me. I know that's strange, but anyway. <laughs> All right, I think we're okay. I'm going to turn over some of the cauliflower just so it looks pretty and you don't have all those stems showing you know what i mean like that okay just make it look a little bit nicer that was perfect i think i lucked out with the amount that i cut up that it will work well carrots right on down. Like that, friends. Just like that. This turned out really cute. Like I said, it was so simple, easy to do. Just fun little veggie tray to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. go okay that's it friends how simple is that and then we have our veggie dip and what i love about this veggie dip i'm hoping you can see it it's kind of hard when it's white there's green and um orange little flecks in there from the veggie that they put in so you've got the colors going on in the dip as well and i just think that's so cool let's go ahead and get that in there go just like that how stinking cute is that how cute let me show you so quick and easy it took me what five minutes total maybe not including cut up time so let me do a quick close-up for you all right my friends so here we go there is our little irish flag veggie tray is that so stinking cute or what? Simple and easy. This is just so easy to do. Yep, that's it. So that'll do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this little uh, fun St. Patrick's Day appetizers. Uh, video. I just thought it was really cute. The rainbow, I just absolutely loved the way that turned out. And the flag was so, so simple, easy to do. Um, something that, you know, you can whip together really quick. Doesn't take any time at all. But uh, friends, if you end up making either one of these, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to see pictures of it if you do end up making it. Like I said, this is great for any St. Patrick's Day party. If the kids are having a party at school, I know a lot of times, um, with everything going on they stop doing parties but if they do if you just want to take a treat into the office um, and just kind of spread kindness what better way to do it than to make a rainbow fruit platter come on it's just perfect it's great for birthday parties and just have the kids get involved because as i said earlier on when you um involve the kids making foods they are more likely to eat it so friends thank you so much for joining me if you haven't already subscribed to my channel would you please consider subscribing as it does greatly help me out and don't forget to hit the little bell because it will notify you every time i have a new video coming out and if you like this video give it a thumbs up again those thumbs up helps me out and please go check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. I am very, very active over on those social media sites. I share a lot of information, just 
fun every day in my life kind of um, things. So there's a lot more going on than, he than here, just my videos on YouTube. So don't forget to check me out over there. They're always linked below. Um, and you can do a search for Mama Needs a Goal. Everything is under that. So friends, thanks so much. I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and I will see you next time. Bye. All right, friends, so I'm going to share with you what my kitchen looks like because when you're watching me a lot of times, you don't see behind the scenes. And I thought I would just kind of give you a quick overview of what it really looks like right now in my kitchen. So here's a quick overview of what it really looks like in my kitchen. <laughs> that is there. And then here is the mess on the counter here and in the sink. And <laughs> so, yeah, even though it looks pretty over there, it's not so pretty over here so I just wanted to show you real life because I know sometimes a lot of people when you watch videos and stuff you think to yourself how do they keep things neat all the time it always looks so nice and blah 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 over there is a baby gift that I have to package up and ship out and um, this is it friends this is real life there's a sneak peek of my um, tear tray <laughs> so I thought I'd share that with you guys